Good evening and welcome to Money Minutes. My name is Lisa Pallavi Barbara. If you look at the fixed income markets right now, the primary market in fixed income, retail investors are really spoiled for choice, be it the non-convertible debentures or NCDs on offer by corporates or the tax-free bonds on offer by government entities. Now, before you go ahead and com commit your money, here are three or four points that you need to keep track of. The first and foremost is the interest that the bond offers. Now, companies report interest in two ways. Firstly, there is a coupon rate. Now, a coupon means uh, a periodic payout that you will receive on your bond. Say the coupon rate is 10% uh, for an annual payout. It means uh, that on a bond with a face value of rupees 1000, you will receive 100 rupees every year. Now that is one way of showing it. The other way is a yield. The yield comes into play when there are no uh, periodic payouts, rather the interest is accumulated and a lump sum is paid out at the maturity of the bond. In that case, the return is uh, expressed as an annual yield. So you should know the difference between the two. Now once you know the interest, you need to understand the credit rating. Uh, credit rating uh, like a AAA rating, which is the highest possible, signifies very low risk of default by the company or the government entity. Anything which is lower than a AAA uh, will relatively show an increasing risk level in terms of uh, uh, default on financial obligations. Uh, so the highest is AAA, then comes AA and then comes A. Now, uh, with uh, what happens with interest and credit rating is that the higher the credit rating, uh, the lower the interest offered. And if, as the credit rating goes on decreasing, investors demand a more interest of for them to compensate for the uh, risk that they are undertaking. So keep that in mind as well. Next, you need to look at the taxation. Now, if you're going to buy the bond and hold in maturity, your only way of earning is the interest, which then gets taxed at the rate of your income tax. So if you're in the 30% bracket, the interest earned will be clubbed with the rest of your income and then taxed at 30%. And likewise, if you're in the 20% or the 10% bracket. If, however, you do end up selling the bond in the secondary market, then there is a possibility you might make a capital gain if the price you sell at is higher than the face value. Now in that case, a short term capital gain will uh, be taxed at again the income tax rate that you fall in and a long term capital gain will be subject to a 20% tax with indexation and 10% without indexation. Lastly, you need to consider the maturity profile of the bond. Now tax free bonds uh, typically come in maturity which is more than 10 years and uh, corporate NCDs come with a maturity of anywhere between 3 to uh, 6 years. So you need to know how long you can lock in your money. Uh, so far, there are no bonds out which have a call option or uh, which means that the company can recall the bond before its maturity. Uh, but uh, so you need to be sure whether you can lock in for three years, five years, six years, 10 years or more and then pick the bond that you want to invest in. So a quick recap on the four things that you need to keep in mind. There is the interest offered, then there is the credit rating, then there is the taxation that you will be subject to and the maturity profile of the bond. Keep in mind all all these things and then decide which bond you want to buy. That's all from me today. Keep watching Money Minutes for more investment tips. Thank you.